It is the 41st millennium. In the grim darkness of the far future there is only war. The Emperor of Mankind has set the mobile on the Golden Throne for 10,000 years. His body is slowly turning to dust and threat of chaos has never been greater. Well, you don't have to imagine anymore. Before we jump into my first look on Warhammer 40k Dark Tide, please bash that subscribe button like you're bashing the skull of Imperium enemies. By pre-ordering this game, I was granted the pre-order beta access. Yeah, I know, never pre-order, but this is Warhammer 40k Universe and the hype has never been bigger. If you're not aware by this point, this is a four-man co-op game focusing on teamwork to progress. It follows the well-tried recipe of Vermintide 2 and cranks it up to 11. Formula is simple, get together with your friends or find friends in game and have endless fun. There are four available classes to choose from. You can choose Veteran, Psyker, Zealot and Ogryn the Skullbreaker. But I will not go too much into details since I'll be doing the class spotlight as soon as I test them all out. Today we'll be talking about beautiful yet somewhat unoptimized and slightly deprived of content game. Well, that's how I see it anyways. So without further ado and without going into too many specific of the game, since I really don't want to spoil anything for you working lump into my first impression of Warhammer 40k Dark Tide. Dark Tide sucks you in Warhammer 40k settings like no other game before. The visuals are stunning, gameplay is amazing and the atmosphere is somewhat that many other game developers should feel envy about. And yeah, it feels so good to create your own character. Talking about character creation, you choose your own homeworld, life experience and past career. That will determine the nature of your character in game. For example, I've chosen the fan favorite Kadia as my home planet and I was given the option to choose the voice profile that will match my Kadian background. On top of that, depending on your choices, the other players will respond differently and will have different type of relationship with you. Sound design is absolutely out of this world and provides a great level of immersion, but the gunplay and swordplay are something I would like to focus and talk about. It is so well made that I can't even find the words to describe how cool it feels to shoot, stab, slash, punch, push, throw a hand grenade, dismember enemy and destroy environment. The game even features the stage reload feature. So if you're not aware what stage reload is, it's a little thing that adds up to the realism and increases the difficulty of fighting with your rifle. What do I mean by this? For example, you hit your reload key, eject the empty magazine, insert the new one just to be attacked by enemy or maybe you just started running or you've switched to a melee weapon. Next time you take out your rifle, you won't be able to shoot until you cock your gun. How cool is that? Also, every weapon has their unique trait that differentiate in using the weapon by aiming down the sight or using the weapon's special ability. I've only been able to test out the flashlight and the ability to use the rifle butt as a kind of last resort pushback option. Another cool feature is how each melee weapon is used in a different way and how it feels using it. At the moment of making this video I've only used combat shovel, regular sword and a knife. But each weapon features a numerous animation and it absolutely changes the way you use it in combat. Of course, the end result is always the same, dozen upon dozen dead enemies and even more severed limbs and heads, of course. Uh, the missions... The missions are well built, featuring many different objectives that spice up the gameplay and teamwork. Also, the horse pawns are supposedly random but somewhat predictable. At the moment there are 5 game difficulties, starting with Sedition and ending with Damnation. I won't be getting into details about this one, since I'll most likely talk about this in some of my future videos. Each mission has one or more mini bosses and one final boss that you have to defeat or higher difficulty objective that you have to complete in order to successfully finish your deployment. In my honest opinion, Dark Tide is not yet fully optimized since it was a pain in butt to get this game running at somewhat 60 FPS with FPS drops. And just to give you the contents, my GTX 1070 Ti is running Warzone 2 on high preset, 60 FPS and no issues whatsoever. 
while in Dark Tide it struggles to keep up the FPS above 45 when I'm in a fight on a medium setting, so not even close to a high setting. From what I've read on forums, uh, users with much better gear that I have are still experiencing the same problems. That being said, developers are working on improving optimization and technically this is still beta, so we will have to hope that they are going to do something about it, of course. Darktide is still deprived of content, but true to be told, so was Vermintide 2 upon its release, but the developers from Fetchark made it into a treasure trove of content over the time. It would be really, really nice to see a different career options for your character, as well as more gear and maybe loot dices, loot crates and so on, the things we already saw in Vermintide 2. And yeah, the post-game stats would be nice. I know that there are different opinions about this one. Some even say that it will reduce toxicity, but if you ask me, I think that everybody should know how much they contribute, especially in today's world where you get participation ribbon for just about anything. Call me old-fashioned, but I like to compare my post-game stats against those of my friends. It feels good to see that you provided similar contribution or that somebody carried you like a god emperor themselves. And yeah, sometimes you will flame your friends about how bad they were and sometimes they will flame you. It's the circle of life and in the 40k universe life is short if you're a normal human fighting chaos. With everything being said, Dark Tide has the potential to be awesome game. I'll be happy to come back for years to come. And this is my opinion after only spending about 10 hours in this game. Thank you for tuning in. Enjoy contemplating gaming for a whole day while you're on work, just to come home and endlessly scroll YouTube until you get bored of it. I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye!